In Luke 4.18, we read of Jesus' trip back to Nazareth after his earthly ministry had begun. And he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and they delivered him the book of the law and it was the place in Isaiah, uh, the prophet that he read from. And in verse 18 of Luke 4, this is what he read. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it unto the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is not this Joseph's son? Now, as we think about this, he did not have liberty to just take that scroll and do, 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 and turn to the place that he wanted to read. They had a liturgical reading each week. And so in the providence and timing of God, that particular scripture was to be read on that particular day. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that just like God? His timing is absolutely perfect. And so Jesus reads the scripture reading for the day and says, this day is this acceptable uh, year of the Lord proclaimed in your ears. You, you're hearing this right now. And what was this about? Well, it was a prophecy about the Messiah and what he would do when he came, that he would preach the gospel to the poor, heal the brokenhearted, preach deliverance to captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and set at liberty them that were bruised. And the people were just amazed. And they, they wondered at the gracious words that he had spoken. These are gracious words. These are words of God's acceptance of his people. They're not words of judgment. They're not words of wrath. They're words of acceptance. They're words of healing. They're words of blessing. They're words of, of forgiveness and eternal life. And, and, and that's, that's Jesus's ministry. That's what he came to proclaim. That's what he came to do. And the people are so excited about this. And then immediately he says, you will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, that's Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Eliseus, that's Elisha, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city, led him under the brow of the hill, whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Immediately, just like that, they go from saying, wow, look at these gracious words that he's speaking to us, to being filled with wrath, wanting to push him out of the city, and even wanting to kill him. Why? Because he told two stories about the acceptable grace of God going not just to the Israelite people, but also to Gentiles. And they just couldn't stand that. They, they hated that. They, they wanted to see themselves as special. They, they didn't like what he had to say. But I want for you to understand this morning that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ extends to all men, every tribe, every tongue, every nation, every people. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. This is the good news of the gospel. The acceptable year of the Lord is not just acceptable to one group of people. It's acceptable to all people, and God invites all to come to Christ. He invites all to come and be forgiven, all to come and receive everlasting life. God's heaven will be filled with people from every tribe, tongue, nation, and people on the whole planet. And how exciting is that? Isn't it wonderful that God doesn't just, just pick one particular group, but that he loves all people, like the song we used to sing, red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world, and he loves you too. God bless you. Have a great day.